speak and live and relate and do life from what's healed over and from what you've figured out, rather than speak and live and react and vent and rant and do drama from the open wound that you're going through right now. Some of you are going through stuff right now. It's terrible what you're going through. It's really hurting. It's painful. You're bleeding. That's not a time for you to be posting or speaking, or ranting, or venting. And so what I've learned in life, at my age and stage of life, to say to you guys, is if you're going through something, wait until it's healed, and wait until you've figured something out. Wait until your cry for help moves to becoming an act of service to the rest of us. If you, will, if you will even just put that one alone into your world for the next six months, it will revolutionize your life because some of you are constantly reacting and living from what hurt you. And if you don't heal what hurt you, you'll bleed on people that didn't cut you in the first place. I've done that in my life and I've had it done to me. And I think we've all got to figure out where this lands for us. And beware the tendency to live, speak, react, make decisions, make choices. When you're in a wounded, open, wounded condition, it's not going to be a good outcome. Wait, heal, learn, grow. That's the book we want to read. That's the voice we want to counsel us. That's the wisdom we're looking for. It's from people that have allowed it to become a massive act of service to the rest of us that are going through stuff and need someone ahead of us to say, I went through that too. Here's what I learned. Pass it on to us.